Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I decided to do a reaction video. Yeah, I should start doing that more often, because I never thought I would see the moment to this day forward. Because on Wednesday, September 23rd of this year, I actually had access to watch something I never thought I would see in 20 years or so. But... I did. I saw the reunion of one of the most popular sketches of all time that aired on all that. Good Burger. That's right. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? One Good Burger, that'll be a buck. <laughs> yeah, I still never forget that reaction that I did when when I was uh, when I got to meet Kel Mitchell for the first time at Flappers Comedy Club yeah if you haven't checked that video out you should it's, it's actually very funny but great moment anyway um, so far um, the, the reunion actually had aired on the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon now as you know I am not a huge fan of Jimmy Fallon the comedian who's now a talk show host because yeah, he started out on Saturday Night Live uh, back in the late 90s. Um, yeah, because I still think, you know, this guy doesn't have any talent. I'll be honest with you. I mean, because I had to sit through films like uh, Taxi. I did a review on that film a long time ago. Yeah, you know exactly how I felt about him. And, you know, that's, <laughs> that's my problem. But sometimes uh, on his show, he does tend to bring back something that he never thought he would, we would see already because, because you know, he, he does act like a child sometimes, and that that it sh that really shows. He does tend to bring back all the childhood memories that we all grew up with, um, especially from the 80s and 90s. Like, I remember when he started his show, he started showing like reunions of. Full House and uh, Saved by the Bell and all this other stuff. I had the feeling he's going to start doing the same thing to almost every single show out there. But I never thought I would get to see Good Burger for the first time in years. Especially when we finally got to see Keenan and Kill working together. Because they haven't been working together for years. And I know for the fact because, you know, Kill Mitchell was often busy doing all these movies and TV shows and all this other stuff. While Keenan Thompson is just doing Saturday Night Live. You know, he's been on the air for, for 12 years now. And, and I know he's been on several films like, you know, Snakes on the Plane, Fat Albert, and all the rest. But I never thought I would see this day where we get to see Keenan Thompson and Kill Mitchell together for the first time. And wow, he still has it too. Keenan Thompson dressed up as a construction worker. This time he he has facial hair. Yeah, yeah and go so yes, he's already growing a beard at this point. And Kill wearing those dreadlocks, the good burger hat. And all the clothes that he wears, I mean, God, I never thought I would hear the sound of of Ed actually going up to the mic and say, Welcome to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger, can I take your order? <laughs> oh, man. But, of course, they got Jimmy Fallon uh, dressed up as a Good Burger employee. He was even using the, the two grapes, you know, because remember that scene... In the movie Good Burger, when Ed was actually uh, using those, uh, uh, using the green grapes, and he puts on her, on his nose, and he says, "Bibbidi bibbidi boobidi bibbidi 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 that sort of way. Um, yeah, I always remember that moment on Good Burger, and the fact that he took all these grapes out of his nose and he started eating it too, and I I sort of had a gross reaction when he did that. <laughs> Because, think about it, I mean, all these grapes might have, like, snot in it or something. But, <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Oh man, but I gotta say that this had to be one awesome night. I never thought I would see this on TV again. I never even thought this was gonna happen, but it did. I gotta say, this year is becoming so much better now, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I gotta say, this year is becoming the best, so, in my opinion. Because I never thought I would meet all my favorite stars. Well, <laughs> oh man. So I had a good time watching it. In fact, um, you can actually check it out on, on YouTube. Yes, uh, Jimmy Fallon does post this on his YouTube page. Um, yes, yeah, so you can actually uh, click it down below. Yeah, I'm going to put it up there. Uh, they also have the behind the scenes too, where you get to see basically you know interviews with Keenan Thompson and Kill Mitchell talking about their moments for, for this. And yeah, you can even find some pictures of it online. You know, even some videos from Instagram. Because I know Kill Mitchell's been posting that a lot lately online, so that's cool. So, yeah, I, it was fun. I, I like it. You know, and I thought he did a good job. I mean, apparently, I would have expected so many uh, other talk show hosts to do this a whole lot better. In fact, I think Jim Kimmel would have done this better, in my opinion. If you think about it, I mean, instead of Jimmy Fallon, because I'm not a huge fan of him, like I said. You know... I mean, anybody could have done this than him. But I'm just surprised I finally got to see it. <laughs> so I was excited. Oh, man. I, I got to thank Kill Mitchell for this because, you know, this is something I never thought I would see again. Growing up, you know, watching Nickelodeon, I mean, I always love all that in Keen and Kill. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. And. I gotta say, I'm so happy that Keenan Thompson finally got to meet Kill Mitchell for the first time in years. Because I think they should start working together. In fact, they should do a Saturday Night Live episode together. I, I don't know why NBC hasn't done that yet. But they really do. Because, you know, already with Kill Mitchell doing a new show, Game Shakers, on the Gordian, I mean, why not? That would be an awesome time. And an awesome night, too. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but back to Good Burger though, I I gotta say, I almost wish I was there. You know, because I would have had love to do that reaction again, like I did when I went to Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank, California, when I first met Kill Mitchell, and we were doing that uh, that Good Burger uh, bit. Yeah, so I thought, yeah, because then I figured because, you know, Kill Mitchell does remember all the moments since he was on the show. Um, yeah, he, he turned into, yes, he turned into Ed as we know it, so he still has the voice. And I was actually uh, going up to him and saying that I was almost pretending like I was actually at Cooper. <laughs> and just acting like... <laughs> You know, I, I was actually ordering all the foods and you know, paying eight bucks. You can find that video on, on my channel to, to look at it. I mean, it, it's just fun. Uh, but, yes. Um, <laughs> I just can't believe I finally saw it. You know what? I, I should also do a reaction video to the TV show Game Shakers since I just watched it recently. Uh, with the very first episode, and, and I've yet to watch the second episode since I just recently set it up. Uh, the third episode is going to be on this week, so let's see what's going on. But yeah, but so far, um, yeah, check it out. It, it, it's fun. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.